Tsunamis, a giant wave that can be caused by many phenomena. Have you ever thought about how dangerous tsunamis can be? Or about how tsunamis have changed and what danger they can cause? Why are tsunamis dangerous and what damage can they cause? And how are tsunamis similar and different from other natural disasters? And how is global warming affecting tsunamis behavior? And how can humans stay safe from tsunamis? Let's start with what are tsunamis and how do they form? It takes a ginormous amount of force to even start a tsunami. An earthquake would need to be a magnitude of over 7.0 to start a tsunami. Tsunamis can also start from underground earthquakes, icebergs falling, volcanic eruptions, or a large displacement in the ocean floor. A tsunami goes outwards from the source, like when a pebble drops into a puddle and makes a tiny wave in a circle going outwards. Tsunamis are also super fast. Some can travel up to 500 miles per hour. That's almost as fast as a plane. Can a tsunami, when a tsunami starts, it can change speeds depending on how deep the ocean is. When the ocean is more shallow, the wave gets bigger. A meteor tsunami is a tsunami that is very small. They are usually only 2 meters high, but the largest one recorded was 5.9 meters. Meteor tsunamis are created by the weight of air above that is given from the air on Earth's ground. Why are tsunamis so dangerous and what damage can they cause? Tsunamis are normally do the most damage from the land closest to the source because there's little time for warning and they get very high. For example, the Indian Ocean tsunami 2004 reached 17 countries. Most of the damage is not from the first wave, it's from the waves after the first one. An example is once the first wave hits, there's a series of waves going on which can do a lot of damage. For example, if a building falls, it could create an fall on another building and become dominoes by both buildings. Tsunamis can destroy a lot more than buildings. For example, it can destroy power lines, trees, telephone lines, bridges, cars, and boats. Tsunamis can also result in mental issues called PTSD, which stands for Post Traumatic Stress Disorder. This disorder can cause someone to be scared of the ocean sometimes for the rest of their life because of all the trauma they went through from surviving a tsunami. So tsunamis can be mentally and physically dangerous for people. How are tsunamis different and how are they similar from other natural disasters? Tsunamis are different. One example is a tsunami can only be formed by a big displacement near the ocean floor, like an iceberg falling or a landslide. Tsunamis are different from normal waves. First, a tsunami starts by all the water going into the sea, which will show the sand that is normally covered by the water. This is important because it shows the difference in similarities of disasters and wind waves. How are tsunamis affected by global warming? This is important because global warming is melting glaciers more frequently that crash into the water, and that could, could create a tsunami. Global warming is causing earthquakes to be more frequent. That could make a bigger chance to cause a tsunami. Global warming is also making tsunamis stronger and occur more. But how? Global warming is affecting sea level rise too. This is essential because only a 50 centimeter rise could be devastating by doubling the risk of a tsunami. Global warming can also increase the risk of a landslide. This would happen because the sea level rising would make the bottom of the hill very moist, which could create a landslide. Another reason why climate change is affecting the occurrence of a sea landslide is because of the permafrost that is holding it together will melt. So tsunamis are dangerous and they get, are getting more frequent. What safety features do we have to protect us from tsunamis? And what does science have to do with it? A magnitude measurer will detect energy from the source of a tsunami and will tell the information to a tsunami detector. There's actually sometimes a discussion of sending a tsunami warning because if they send a tsunami warning system and there's no tsunami, it could be cause unwanted attention. This is all important because if there's no tsunami warning system, there would be, a major, there would be major consequences, like many lives being lost. In conclusion, tsunamis are interesting because there are different types and forms of tsunamis. And how have tsunamis changed and what danger can they cause? 
This made me think, what can we humans do to prevent global warming from getting so bad that tsunamis could be unstoppable?